What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really exciting review for you and it's a brand new blaster, the Nerf Rival Challenger. This thing is fresh off the storeroom shelves. Actually, I don't even think it made it to the shelf yet, but I grabbed this guy from Target today and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So let's check this baby out. So this is one of two new releases that Nerf is coming out with in the Rival line this month. The second is the Mirage, which you can see right there. And I'm excited about that one also. That is a spring powered blaster that is mag and grip and should be pretty exciting also. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications so you're alerted to when I post that review. But this is finally a rival strife. I don't know why it took so long for them to come out with a rival strife that's in a very compact form. I mean, we had the Hera, that was pretty sweet, but it is a much bigger blaster than this. And obviously it came in, came with a built-in stock. And this is just basically the smallest, more or less that you can get with a rival flywheel blaster. So pretty excited for this one. It comes with a brand new banana mag that's kind of ridiculous looking but we'll definitely take a look at that that looks pretty awesome and i really love the color concepts of this new rival line the accu line i guess that comes with the new accu rounds which are pretty cool but let's stop talking about this too much and uh, let's uh, check out the back of the box and then crack this thing open so we really don't need to check this out too much. We just have a picture of the blaster, some simple details of the blaster, which I'll go over. It does say it's motorized semi-auto blasting, which is why it's basically a strife. And it shows you that it has the advanced precision rounds that come with this. So let's go ahead, crack this baby open. Okay, so you obviously get your blaster, your 12 round banana mag, 18 precision rounds and some instructions. So we'll go ahead and crack these rounds open and load up our magazine. Pretty cool though, they give you a few extra rounds. I do like that. Okay, so one problem I always have with rival magazines is they seem to wanna to pop out the top and this already seems like it wants to push out. And when you're running, they wanna come out. So obviously we still have that problem. Not sure really how to fix that. Obviously they haven't figured it out yet, but that is one downside to using rival magazines just so you know. But we'll go ahead and load this into the blaster. This does not have a flared mag well, just so you know. There is very kind of uh, skeletonized in there, but it does seem to go in pretty easily, but then you lose a round when you unload your magazine. So if you haven't used all your rounds, one will pop out, and that's just the way most rival blasters work. It's, it's uh, meant to uh, release a round once you load it in. So that's just kind of how that goes. So we'll try not to do that. So let's go over all the features of the blasters real quick. Obviously you have a barrel that looks like it takes attachments, which is interesting to me, but I don't think there's any rival barrel attachments that I know of. So maybe they're coming out with something. It looks very similar to that, but I honestly don't believe they're coming out with anything like that. But if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone's gonna let me know in the comments. <laughs> but uh, as far as this, as far as I know right now, when this video is being made, they haven't made any of those. But we do have some sling points. This one swivels, which is pretty sweet here in the front. We do have, obviously, we could you could sling something here, you could put something there. There's a lot of places to put a sling on this blaster, which is awesome. We have a rival rail on top here that's kind of skeletonized. Pretty cool looking there. We also have one on each side of the blaster here and here, and then one underneath. So that's pretty sweet. You can put all kinds of rival attachments on there, which there's also not that many of, but there are some of those. So uh, that's definitely could be used, but this is just rival and not Picatinny. So I don't believe it is compatible, but We'll check it out unless they've changed something. I don't believe so. We do have a nice finish on this blaster. It's something they've been doing recently. It's a kind of a brushed finish on the side of the blaster. I really like that detailing. 
Obviously, we have the MXXIV-1200, and we know that stands for a blaster that came out in 2024 and holds 12 rounds. The M stands for motorized. So this is a, obviously a motorized blaster. And speaking of motorized, you put your eight AA batteries right in there. So that's where that goes. We also have a jam door. It slides open like that. You can see right into the flywheels there. So that's pretty sweet. This right here is your trigger lock. So if you push that forward, it locks your trigger so you cannot pull it. Pull that back and that is now unsafe and now you can fire your blaster. This right here revs the flywheel so you wanna pull this prior to pulling the trigger because this revs it and then once they rev up, then you can pull your trigger to fire your darts or rival rounds or whatever you wanna to refer to them as. Right here is a paddle that releases the magazine. You have to pull down and there goes the round again. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the weird quirks of rival blasters i wish that didn't happen but that's just the way it is so that being said we'll go ahead and leave the magazine out for now the grip is nice and big but not overly big which is nice because this one is not mag and grip they can make it a little smaller so i think it's going to be better comfort wise for more people so that is awesome i uh, really like the size of it though it does fit in adult size hand this is meant for 14 plus kids or adults or whoever you may be. And I think that's awesome. I'm sure though that this would be just fine to use for kids under 14. That's just a recommendation given the power level of the blaster. But rival rounds are very soft. So obviously always wear iPro when using Nerf blasters, but this should be fairly safe. All right, let's go ahead and put some batteries in this baby and see what she's all about. All right, we have eight fresh new alkalines loaded up there. We'll go ahead and put the cover back on. Screw her down. And now we're ready to do some blasting. So let's see how this baby revs. That seems extra quick, especially for just standard AA batteries. That was pretty impressive. I don't know if it's because we're using eight of them or if they've changed something, but that revved up pretty quickly, which is definitely a plus for something that's not running off a LiPo or a rechargeable battery of any sort. So let's go ahead, put the magazine back in and fire this puppy off. All right, load her up, see what she's got. Not bad, definitely seems like pretty standard rival performance, but we'll put it over the chronograph soon enough. All right, round two. All right, let's take this puppy outside and put it over the chronograph. Do, do, uh, uh, I don't think this is gonna work, guys. On second thought, Let's take this puppy and stay inside and put it over the chronograph. All right, let's see what this puppy's got. 86, 86, 85, 85, 86, 84, 84, 82, 82, 82, 82, 80. My baby is loud. Does seem to work with uh, this seven round mag. We, we only have six shots in there, but we'll see how that does. 82, 82, 82. 81, 80, 79. Strange, we keep going down. <laughs> so this seemed a little underpowered, so my guess is, is the range of the blaster is gonna be slightly lessened. Although Rival isn't really a blaster you shoot for range, it's very much a CQB kind of style of play. And I think that's why this blaster is so cool because it's 
very small considering it's a rival blaster and a flywheel rival blaster at that. Uh, so it should be really, really nice to use in a, you know, close quarters combat kind of play style, especially if you like using magazines. Really like this blaster. Wish it shot a little harder. Usually we see more upwards of 95 to 100 FPS out of Rival. Uh, so I'm not sure why this one is shooting more in the low 80s. That seemed a, a little low. I'm not sure if that's just my model. Would have liked to have shot this outside today, but with the snow on the ground, it didn't really make sense. We were gonna probably lose all of our rounds. And uh, yeah, just not, not gonna work out great, but <laughs> we'll definitely uh, have to check this baby out again. At some point, I'll probably have to modify this thing for LiPo because that's really, for my use, the best way to use this blaster. But if you like stock class blasting, this is pretty sweet in my opinion. It does have a pretty quick rev up time with those with those eight AA batteries, but you will have to replace those quite often and that can get a little pricey. So keep that in mind when you're making your purchase. I'll definitely, like I said, leave a link in the description box to where you can pick one up when that becomes available. This thing's pretty cool and I like the way it looks. I think it's a, a little comical with the banana mag, but obviously you can use any style rival magazine with this from what I can understand. This magazine, by the way, should work in some other rival blasters, but I'm sure it doesn't work in all. I'd be surprised if it works in the Hera considering how it's a magnum grip and it may not go all the way up, but uh, I don't really have access to all those blasters to test that today. But yeah, don't expect it to work in every other blaster, but I think it's kind of a fun look. Really love the coloring, love the style of the blaster. I think the guy that uh, designed this did a great job. So can't wait to see more Rival stuff come out in the future. Definitely stay tuned for the Mirage video. I'll definitely be picking one of those up and reviewing it for you guys when it becomes available. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. And as always, peace out.